Hello all. Welcome to Tech Horizon Hub. In this part of the series, we will start with deploying IBM Cloud Satellite Hosts with storage, then install IBM Spectrum Scale Container Storage Interface Driver, then deploy a stateful application. We start with downloading host attach script. More details about the IBM Satellite Location and host attach script are in the part 2 video of the series. Let us use IBM Storage Fusion User Interface to deploy hosts with storage enabled. It starts with configuration name and project name. Always use new project for every time we deploy hosts. Minimum hosts supported are 6 and with storage or scale enabled, the minimum supported are 7. Select one of the templates based on your requirements and fill the network configuration. Point to your storage scale image location and the required authentication details to access it. Provide username and password for the virtual machines created for the hosts. Now attach the host attach script, downloaded from the IBM Cloud, satellite location. Verify all the details and click on finish. You would see an entry in the IBM Storage Fusion user interface for the hosts we just deployed. The initial status would be empty and it turns to running once all the hosts or virtual machines are up and running. We also see the hosts are attached to IBM Cloud Satellite Location. Now we try to log in into GUI node using Cloud User and then Validate Scale or Storage Client and the Remote Mount. This would take few minutes for having this using automation. Now we have Remote Mount available on the Scale or Storage Client on the Satellite Hosts. Now we will proceed with OpenShift installation from IBM Cloud. Mark three nodes as control nodes in different zones. Hosts will go for provisioning and wait for them to be available. Now let us go with OpenShift installation on these hosts. Select the infrastructure as satellite. Select the location we use for this. Select the worker nodes. You can enable cluster admin access based on need, name the OpenShift cluster, and go with cluster creation. You might see some errors during cluster creation. Wait for entire cluster to be healthy before going ahead. Once cluster is healthy, access the OpenShift cluster created on satellite hosts using the cluster service URL. Initially we see no storage classes created on this new OpenShift cluster on IBM Cloud satellite hosts. Now we would log in to the cluster to install IBM Spectrum Scale Container Storage Interface Driver. We create namespace for IBM Spectrum Scale CSI Driver. We now download the operator manifest for CSI. Issue the following command to apply the operator manifest to deploy the operator. Verify that the operator is deployed, and the operator pod is in running state. Deploying IBM Spectrum Scale Container Storage Interface Driver We have to create two secrets in IBM Spectrum Scale CSI Driver namespace. As we are using remote cluster setup, we create a secret object for the GUI server of each cluster. We now created secret for satellite GUI server. Now we are creating secret for HCI storage GUI server. Now we will create custom resource for our deployment where primary file system is a remotely mounted file system. Before we proceed with custom resource we need to have scale equals to true label on the nodes. Now we will create custom resource. Make sure you give the values for the cluster ID for both local or accessing cluster and remote or owning cluster correct. Also use the two secrets we created before. Validate for all the pods to be up and running. Now we will create a storage class. Make sure the remote mounted name is correct. 
Let us create a PVC using the storage class we just created. Now we will deploy an application which consumes this PVC. Now we will perform some write operations on the pod. We will delete the pod and recreate it with same PVC to show the data still persists. We log in to recreated pod to validate. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.